is going to be any stranger to the car display. The Zanyas. That's later true. on. That is one of the ways that Akali can fight back. First round, Robin. <clears throat> We're going to check out the runes for everyone. So, to the top side, for you. Oh, Tarzan. I mean, Karthus is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. They have a lot of kill lanes, Ooh, but... Speaking of, Root does get the dash. It's a decent double play. Aftershock is in, but it's not enough. To go with it. He's yep. only down 9 CS right now in top lane. And he's going to be able to get that teleport back onto the minion wave. Well, the pain comes oh, in man. here. Tremesen spots out where Seas is. Lands some lay waste, but he will take a heck of a lot of damage. That's going to be a decent dark passage to get the shield. As Lahens is going down extraordinarily low, the lay waste picks it up, and Karthus... Why he's as strong of a jungler as he can be as Tana goes wide. This yeah, Sword is going to be able to boop that one back. And That's the ignite kill. is down. Tana going to yeah. get... Getting bullied in lane here by an Akali. Speaking of getting bullied, Tarzan looking for the knockup does find an acceleration K. Will it be able to actually get enough movement speed? The answer is a big ol' no as Sword gets his second. By Griffin. Double teleports coming in. That's a great hook there from Kellen, who will have the Dark Passage to bring over Seas. Viper has to flash to get out of the way, but the turret has done so much work. There it is. The first kill does go down onto the Thresh as oh, Kellen man. just a little bit too far as now Seas. Finds himself in the middle of nowhere. They're oh, waiting they're to not kill, gonna him. kill him. Yeah. They're just going to let the back Seize, come can through. can you run oh, into the turret? No. That's so sad. Enter passive, and then from there, you can locate the R key. Yeah. Look, I mean, speaking of locating the R key, oh. Grace is going to succeed. Gets the flash off. Per perfect execution. Doing as well. Already have. In fact, as the first one is in there, the better Abyssal Mask is going to come through as Chovy goes into the Shroud, looking to try and get a kill here. On to Seize, potentially, but he's slowed down. Perfect execution, and then the culling, and that's the Requiem. Chovy's going to survive, though, throughout the queue. Not exactly the most barren damage, even though they can tank it so well, and speaking of which, their sword, what? they just so good at Akali that it doesn't really matter who he's playing against yeah. in mid lane. He will just be that good. That's a decent playback oh, there on the Viper. Turret. Very early Requiem as they do get rid of Viper. The Inner Turret is still doing so much work like you mentioned. And Chovy now taking a lot of damage. The Ornorn doesn't seem to be doing enough here as Root very far forward. But Chovy gets himself to safety. And now Jinnah have the opportunity of just chasing this one through. Sword is going to use the stopwatch and that just means he's going to die. The sacrifice is in for the tank is now... They did have leads in both of their games that they lost. Against okay. him is Chovy. Oh, that's too many lay wastes. Yeah, Cho and Chovy got just angry at the yeah. cards. He said, can you please stop queuing me? Good sir. Yep. Baron Nasher on the map. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> well, Sword actually uses his teleport to get into the mid lane. He had a lot of ward options as far as getting that teleport closer, but wanted to be a little bit further away for some reason. It's Griffin. Baron down to about 4,000 health now as Kellen does land the hook. They're inside this pit. Great knock up there onto Jace as Tana has found himself just outside this pit. Kellen will be going down next. Lord gets Requiem called in right one. into the back as Tana's still fighting this one out. It is going to be Viper falling. Requiem does do some decent damage, but Seize is nowhere to be seen. He's back in the pit as now Roots is fighting Tarzan. Oh! And he doesn't have too many options. Does get over the wall. Poor Griffin. Just wait for it. Yep. Three. Two, one, and it's a mountain. Oh, it's that's a mountain. still relatively bad. There, is he's going to get knocked up. Speaking of relatively bad, that's a bad situation. Yeah, it's a for the jungler situation to be in. Actually, Chovy does find his exhaust, and uh, thankfully there's a dark passage. That's what's going to keep Root alive this time around. Chovy will have his flashback sure up very, very quickly. Oh, that yeah, well, that's a very. That's a very. Yeah, mini waves getting followed through. Super minions are now cruising down the mid lane and the top lane as Root's going to get taken down very, very low. Hex Drinker in hand does keep him alive as Tarzan gets boot back. He does, of course, have himself to GA. He will revive as the culling lands onto Chovy Lahens. Good guy. He's going to pick that one up with the Circle of Floss. Frost catches the Akali. Doesn't quite have the Twilight Shroud, but doesn't actually need it. Just walks away as Griffin. A just kiting this Jin Air roster around, even though Root's doing so much damage, it's just not quite enough. True Shot Barrage flies on forward. Once again, misses absolutely everyone. But Griffin, they've done enough. They've just got so much gold, so much control, and Jin Air have I mean, basically nothing. Yeah, that teleport should seal the deal. Next turret one goes down. Number two going to follow. Sees once again. Dies in a decent spot, but does absolutely no damage. As Viper hanging around this team fight is now just looking for the Nexus. 
As Lahan's very low, Tarzan also very low. Shock Blast does basically no damage. As Lahan's has the Unbreakable Will. Nexus next to fall down and Griffin. They don't fall to Jin Air. We don't have the Equilibrium Restore yet. just yet. Alan. The Rise, we'll see whether the build is going to change a little bit, much like Death. That's actually going to work here for Griffin. That's the big test as we see them enter game number CK. He's very, very good, yeah. Very sad to see. They're trying to crash the cannon wave right here. And this could end up being a pretty bad time. That's a big taunt, a double knockup, bouncy castle for the cow. As Tarzan picks up turret aggro and now they're after root. This could be a real troublesome one. No flash available for Lahens. No teleports coming in or anything to find himself any ganks, but does have at least a way to flag and drag his way down. You can see he does just go for the lane gank here. Hasn't been spotted just yet. No pings out, as you can see, from Griffin. We're getting the vision availability here. Well, and does find the Void Seeker onto the back of the retreating Jinair bottom lane. Seize gets the knocker. Flash does come in there from Chovy. Seize gets on over. Rises okay, here. Tana, can you get in there? Flashes immediately to try and get on top of Chovy, but no joy there whatsoever. He got himself an artificial flash and got himself the hell out of there. Sword tries to steal away that blue buff, but he may have actually bitten off more than he can chew as Grace is in trouble. Flashes come out from everywhere as somehow Griffin are the ones picking up all of these kills. Chovy does die as Sword's looking for it. Doesn't quite find it. There is Tana, very low on mana. Sees in trouble as well. And now Tana, you're dead. Uh, okay, here's Seas. They do throw in the Glacial Tomb there as well as Chovy does get the redemption for the healing. Bit of extra movement speed and we're not going to get enough out of the spike. By Justice Punch coming forward as Lahan's moving very quickly with those Moby Boots. The Flash to get out of the way there of the Headbutt Pulverize from oh. Kellen and now he's a little bit too far forward. Trouble Bubble lands. That's a big taunt but it's only on to one as Chovy does follow his Paddle Star through multiple flashes. Grace at this stage even uses the Prey Seeker to get rid of the last Popcorn Chicken. Which ain't oh. bad and the Baron's been started. I mentioned that this is something that Jinnair could have done, but it's something okay. that Griffin have decided to already do. 3,000 health, there is no C's available. He's between turrets on Griffin's side of the map. As Grace is trying to be a hero, but Viper just kills him. The Baron's going to go down as well, and at 20 minutes and 30 seconds, Griffin now have the Baron. C finally turns up, he decides just to throw himself headlong into the... Griffin squad, and now they're just trying to get whichever kills they can. Tarzan's gonna burrow away. It is going to be the sacrificial lamb being the gargoyle, but auto on her eyeball. Griffin still get a turret and a half. As our hero's entrance comes in, Griffin looking to turn this one around. What did I tell you earlier on, guys? Hero's entrance, pretty damn good. The uh, supercharger also evolved. Its root just goes straight into that battle star. That did a lot of damage, but sees. Looking to try and take down Lahan. Justice oh. Punch. Doesn't get him to safety necessarily as Jinnet going for the wraparound play. C still very, very low. Viper's taken down a turret. Swords also on inhibitor turret. C is going to go back out. in. That's just insane. Yeah, the Void Rush is going to come through as well. And Root is going to be the one that suffers Swords the hands of the game, it. Though. Yeah, he's doing what he can. He's going to be able to take down at least an inhibitor. The Gargoyle, Gargoyle is going to bite the dust once again. But look at where Chovy is on this map. He's on the other side. Has the opportunity to get that flash. Does dive on over. Flashes back in Chobie's there dead. as well. And yep, that's going to be the red buff that secures it that Tana had picked up from one of these kills. Inhibitor's already gone down though. The damage has been done here as Griffin. They were just happy to keep Jinnair busy. Oh man, Realm Warp actually coming in. I don't think that Sword's going to be able to make it out. Yep, that was an optimistic empowered recall there as Tana. Aftershock is going to wear off. That was the time where... Is he still there? Is he? is he still there? Right now we're watching the Baron get started. He's looking around the map. He's not actually looking at his own screen. Yeah. Okay. All right, he's watching the Baron right now. Yep. The Baron area. Here we're we go. Wa we're watching the Baron as well. And I uh, see he's, oh, he popped his sweeper uh -oh. and moved towards Blast uh -oh. Cone initiation range. This is the spookiest Jarvan I've ever seen. Yep. Well, he's going to walk over a ward now, and Griffin know that they've been routed. There's the Cataclysm. The Flag and Drag comes in. Tarzan's taken down the jungler. Looking a little bit shaky. Well, looking at how their comp team fights, it's not necessarily uh, that surprising, as Hero's entrance going to be interrupted very easily. And Lahens, not a lot of options there. But now, look at this. Great knock up there onto Seas. Takes a lot of damage. Does make his way out. Grace. 
now trying to do the same thing. The tower is going to get in there as well as Root. A lot of damage there with the culling as Griffin trying to skip around this fight. Tana gets flashed on, goes into stasis, but he will die. It's not going to be the Void Rush. That was avoided, but you can't avoid everything. In the past, working out how you work as a five-man unit is certainly relevant as here he is once again. Cataclysm immediately jumps on forward. Doesn't get the knock up though. Redemption going to come in. Hero's entrance comes down to keep Chovy alive. Secret agent, he botched that one almost completely. Tarzan coming down here. Lahent still looking Tor aggressively. Tor going for a front door. Yep, he's going to be taking down Nexus turrets. There's the realm warp. Tana is able to get himself over. Base gate is going to be taken. But look at this. Nexus turrets are dead. And Swords is going to try and get his way around this one. He wants back to back MVPs. Can he actually get the autos in here is the question. Looks like four members of Jinnah will be enough, but only just as now Tarzan wants to try and find it. Everyone has to collapse his Viper. He finds someone CC'd and he takes down the Nexus. Uh, you know, I'm so glad that we just get to see that yesterday. I was talking with...